It is a great satisfaction to greet you again, I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. Crystals in your dog's urine, causes, types, and what to do. While there are many conditions that can cause changes in urination frequency or urine color, crystals in dog urine are one of the most common causes. Occasionally, crystals are present in a dog's urine without causing any symptoms. Sometimes enough urine crystals form that they clump together and form a sand-like sediment. This sediment can make urination very uncomfortable. It can continue to build up until bladder stones form. As long as your dog can urinate and has a good urine flow, crystals can be treated over time, often with nutritional monitoring. If at any time, your dog strains to urinate or is unable to urinate, this is considered a medical emergency. Untreated urinary blockages can lead to kidney failure and death if not treated promptly. What do crystals look like in dog urine? The crystals are normally not visible to the naked eye. Pet parents are more likely to notice that their dog urinates more frequently, seems to take longer to urinate, only urinates in small amounts, or has blood in the urine. Crystals can only be seen under a microscope. Some look like square or rectangular clear gemstones, while others look more like glass fireworks or hexagons. Occasionally a dog will have enough crystals that they clump together and form a grit or sediment that can be seen in the urine. Types of Urine Crystals in Dogs Calcium oxalate crystals, this type of crystal is one of the most common in dogs. Certain breeds are genetically more predisposed to forming this type of crystal, including Pomeranians, Miniature Schnauzers, Bichon Fries, Maltese, Yorkshire Terriers, and Miniature Poodles. Struvite crystals, another common type, this crystal usually occurs in conjunction with a urinary tract infection. They are seen more often in younger female dogs, with Labrador Retrievers, Cocker Spaniels, Shih Tzus, and Bichon Frises being the most affected. Ammonium urate crystals, these crystals most often occur in dogs that have hepatic shunts or a genetic mutation. Small breeds are more likely to get this type of crystal due to liver shunts. Cysteine crystals, this is a rare type of crystal. Like urate crystals, cysteine crystals are radiolucent, meaning they turn into bladder stones and are not visible on x-rays. These crystals develop in dogs that have inherited a problem with their kidneys, so they cannot reabsorb the amino acid cysteine. This type of crystal is often found in Labradors and Newfoundland. Symptoms of urine crystals in dogs. Frequent urination. Straining or discomfort when urinating. Blood in the urine. Urinary accidents at home. Discolored urine. Causes of urine crystals in dogs. Urinary crystals form in a dog's bladder when urine becomes supersaturated with minerals and the pH and concentration favor crystallization. Minerals become supersaturated in the urine due to a combination of genetics, nutrition, and underlying medical conditions. Genetics are involved in the formation of crystals. Some dogs are more prone to crystal formation than others, based on how their kidneys break down the compounds. Nutrition plays an important role both in the formation of crystals and in the treatment and management of crystals in the urine. Two dogs in the same household may eat the same food, but only one develops urine crystals. This is because the dog has a genetic predisposition to an overabundance of minerals. How vets diagnose urine crystals in dogs? Urine crystals are diagnosed by a veterinarian while examining the dog's urine under a microscope. If your dog is having problems with abnormal urination, your vet will likely ask you to bring a urine sample. The best time to try to obtain this urine sample is first thing in the morning. The first urine in the morning will probably be the most concentrated sample, since your dog has held his bladder all night while he slept. Treatment of urine crystals in dogs. Urine crystals are usually controlled with some component of nutritional therapy. Sometimes your vet may recommend that you change your dog's current diet to an over-the-counter food, but a prescription diet is often recommended. Your vet can prescribe a crystal dissolving diet or recommend one that has a target pH and mineral composition aimed at minimizing future crystal formation. In some cases, dietary therapy is not possible or a veterinarian recommends adding oral medications. If there is also a urinary tract infection, as in the case of struvite crystals, your vet will likely prescribe antibiotics. It is important that you follow the instructions on the antibiotic and give it until it is gone. 
It is a pleasure to inform you and help you. If you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now. Take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hug and until the next video.